Hello. In this video, we're going to look at doing a log-linear model using SPSS. The log-linear model is part of the generalised linear model, and it's the model you use when you have data in the form of counts, which you can assume are Poisson distributed. The data, we're going to, the data is the example data from chapter 13, and we're, the instructions are in the, the, that chapter. Here is a, the data file. You can make this yourself, and there's separate help on that, or you can download it from the online resource centre. If we just take a quick look at the data, we have two independent variables, or more commonly called explanatory variables, in the context of the generalised linear model. So site, which is categorical, and egg date, relative from the 1st of April, which is uh, continuous. And the dependent variable, response variable we're going to use here is fledge count, a measure of re reproductive success based on the number of eggs. Um, we used the fledge binary in a different video when we demonstrated the uh, binary logistic model. So our word equation is fledge count equals site plus egg date, where site is categorical and egg date is continuous. I think we're ready to do the analysis now. If we go to analyze, generalize linear model, generalize linear model. This is um, how it will appear when you bring it up for the first time. The default is linear. You, in this case, want to click Poisson log linear. Um, under type of model, there are that's under the type of model tab. There are actually nine tabs at the top. And we're going to look at six of them. Type of model being the first one. Under response, you want your dependent variable, response variable in this case, fetch count. Under predictors is where we select our independent variables. Site goes into the factors, and egg date goes into the covariates. Model, we want to check that we've got. Um, the main effects and then we'll flick over the variables in our model, explanatory variables in our model. We're not going to worry about estimation in this example but we are going to look at statistics. Just check we've got type 3 and the ward statistic are our defaults, that's fine for now. Look at these are all our, these are all the options selected. Goodness of fit will produce an AIC value to tell you how good the model is. Model summary statistics will produce the tables that tell us what the contribution of the variation is and it's significantly different from random, i.e. our model significant and our different explanatory variables can contribute in a significant amount of the variation. And finally parameter estimates which delivers the um, information we need to actually work out what the model is. Um, I would also click this include exponential parameter estimates, which isn't default, because that will give you your effect size as measured by odds, rate, odds ratios. I'm not going to worry about the, this tab, EM means we're going to look at save, but we're just going to look at that just to explore that on your own later. But these are, if you click any of these, the values will be produced in the data set. And export, um, we're not going to worry about that, as if you want to export the data. So on any of these tabs, you've got OK, and for many of them you can click click that to set, to run the analysis. You've got the model information here, uh, various information about the number the number of the, about the data here, descriptive statistics about your variables here, and then we go on to the core information for the, the analysis, goodness of fit, the AIC value, omnibus test, and test of model effects are your model summary statistics telling you whether your model is significant or not and your parameter estimates table from which you can pick out what your model actually is. And more information on that in both the date in both the chapter 13 and in as an accompanying help sheet as well. And that's it. You've done a log linear model uh, on, on the urban birds example data.